Hello and welcome back to another video on my channel. Today's video is going to be about HOAs or homeowner associations. Um, I live in a neighborhood that is under the management, under the jurisdiction of a homeowners association. So I have some, but not very solid, first-hand experience with this kind of crap. If you do not know what a homeowners association is, it's basically this sort of governing body that oversees the management and the uh, enforcement of rules and guidelines that are to be followed in a neighborhood, some of which I think are absolutely bullshit given that you are paying for the damn house, you know? But all that aside, I've done some reading on the homeowners associations, um, and I'll link the source from which I'm reading from down in the description below if you want to feel free to check the whole thing out. I'm jumping straight to the pros and cons section because I feel like it's going to be the most insightful and the most interesting out of all of it. Um, so let's read it. So, pros and cons of homeowners associations. While some homeowners love living in an HOA, others find HOA rules to be too restrictive and cumbersome. Here's a list of pros and cons to help you decide. And so here's the, uh, the list of pros right here. Your property value will benefit from more stability due to rules governing the maintenance and appearance of homes. Second, you might have access to exclusive amenities like a swimming pool, playground, clubhouse, gym, or on-site security. I imagine that's only in certain neighborhoods, not like suburban ones like the ones I live in. Although it's not like suburban to an extreme degree where all the houses are like 50,000 feet apart. Third, an HOA board will hear and mediate disputes between neighbors for property-related issues that violate... <laughs> I don't know why this one is so funny to me. Um, that violate HOA rules. For example, barking dogs, trashed yards, or fence disputes. I think the reason why that one is so funny to me is because it, the HOA basically gives you a platform or any one of your neighbors to become a full-on fucking Karen over at the most minute shit. Oh. <laughs> oh. He had a, a piece of wood or like a small piece of paper that flew from his side of the yard onto mine. I, I need to file a complaint or press some goddamn charges. Fourth, in some communities, you might have more opportunities to mingle with neighbors at HOA events, social events. Um, well, I mean, that really all depends on your ability or to be motivated or even want to go there in the first place. So, you know, that puts a lot of trust into uh, a bunch of people who may not want to attend the event. Now, moving on to the cons. Um, first, HOAs have a lot of power over how you maintain and live in your home. You might be limited to certain design schemes or paint colors or even the number of pets you can have. We not pay for our own house though? I mean, we are paying the expenses. Why the hell should anyone else have a say in what we do? If I feel like I need an additional buffer door between the inside of the house and the outside, or somewhere where motherfuckers can put their shoes at, I should be able to do that, I feel like. You know, it's my property. And fuck the aesthetic of the neighborhood why does everything have to be so similar man it just makes it makes the neighborhood more interesting if everything's kind of unique second hoa fees can stretch your monthly housing budget especially if home prices are already steep in your area third some homeowner associations can be aggressive about sending violation notices for the slightest infractions piece of dog shit is like a centimeter into someone else's yard. Fourth, you can be fined or have a line put on your home. I actually don't know how to s uh, pronounce that word, so you can grill me in the comments all you want over the pronunciation of that. Put on your home for failing to comply with HOA rules or pay dues. Now, pay dues, I understand, you know, um, you go into a, a neighborhood under the jurisdiction of a HOA, you kind of have to, you're kind of obliged to pay for it, you know, I mean, it's almost like a, uh, a 
a contract that you sort of subconsciously subscribe yourself to <laughs> because you know it's just it's part of what comes with living there there's also this faq towards the bottom of the page that i'm inclined to read so i'll just read it right now how is the homeowners association run typically hoas are operated by a board consisting of homeowners who reside in the community while others are run by a real estate developer or property manager it's important to have a sense of how receptive those in charge are when issues crop up if the homeowners association has an upcoming meeting it might be worth attending to get a feel for how things are run or to hear your neighbors bitch about the slightest uh, smallest most trivial first world things ever what amenities does the HOA community have? To fully understand what your dues are paying for, find out what's included. Trash pickup and landscaping of shared areas, a pool or clubhouse, 24-hour security. Find out what rules or restrictions the HOA has in place for using those amenities too. Well, that must be in like more fancier suburban neighborhoods. I mean, we don't have any gates surrounding this community. I'm kind of glad we don't, but you know. I cannot relate to what's being uh, mentioned in there. <laughs> so what projects are in the works? It's good to know if the homeowners association, it's good to know if the HOA is expanding its amenities. So ask what projects are in the works or planned or how will they will be funded or how they will. Fuck. It's good to know if the HOA is expanding its amenities. So ask what projects are in the works or planned and how they will be funded. If the HOA promises a new pool with a slide in your part of the neighborhood, ask when construction will begin and finish. You should also find out how many projects are scheduled and how that will impact your annual dues so you can budget for the increase in costs. Another problem I have with um, HOA neighborhoods, to say the least, um, is how they're pretty pretentious. They're very keen and um, going to be very harsh about maintaining the aesthetic of the neighborhood, or at least on the front side of the house. You go to the back side or the sides of the house where no one really sees it, and I swear to you, it's the most bland exterior you can ever ask for. So fucking bland. It's so... Stupid like my backyard could literally be looking like a fucking swamp, but the front yeah got to keep the front in check But that's just a little last point just to conclude this little quick video right here. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video